registration bags, I'm going to bring them out. They've got them labeled, so they'll um, the A to K ones we'll put here, kind of spread out, and they've got a masking tape that says all that information what we did last night. Okay. Name, counselor name, uh, room, and uh, the other thing on there is our jersey. You don't have to worry about that. It's already in the bag. It's a ministry that started out of the vision of reaching the hockey world uh, with the message of hope in Jesus Christ. Uh, it started in 1977 with a camp in Montreal, out of the, uh, Montreal out of the vision of a guy named Don Lismer, and he, uh, he just had a heart to reach the hockey community. Uh, it's growing to uh, almost 30 camps in six different countries, uh, chapel programs in uh, 35 leagues and 240 teams across North America. Um, and we're just trying to, to serve the hockey community and help them know who Jesus is and what he's done for us. Get some street hockey going in a minute. Football for now. Let's go. Let's get going, boys. You're late. You're late. Let's go. Hurry up. John, John Jacob Jingle Hyper Schmidt. His name is my name, too. Wherever we go out, there'll be Lolly Shap. There goes John Jacob Jingle Hyper Schmidt. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, I mean, they're getting up at 6.15, they're hitting lunch at 6.30, or sorry, breakfast at 6.30, and then they, they get to the rink. The, the Oilers and Barons are split into two groups, and they have uh, the segregated ice sessions. There's two sessions in the morning, and I believe two in the afternoon, followed by dryland sports. Starting from the top, our lead instructor is Bill Butters. Um, he's the assistant defensive coach uh, at Wisconsin University, Wisconsin Badgers. And he's been in the game any, anywhere from the NHL level all the way through college and high school, coaching and playing. Um, after him is Michael Kay, who played here for the Blazers when it used to be the Blazers. Uh, he's playing in the University of Saskatchewan still. They went to the national championship tournament this year. Um, top notch instruction from him. We got Kevin Fukala, who played at UCO. Uh, and he's, he's now making it in the pros at the minor level and, and, uh, and playing rough and rugged and, and being successful there. Um, we've got Tyler Fleck, and everybody knows that name here in Oklahoma City, longtime captain of the Blazers and now the, uh, the Oilers in Tulsa and just a wealth of knowledge. He runs some awesome camps uh, up in Canada and in Tulsa and uh, he, he really knows what he's doing on the ice. We've got an OU player, Chris Blake. We got Tyler Minx, local guy who's playing in the, U uh, in the NAHL in Odessa uh, for the Jackalopes. Uh, another local product, Caleb Thompson, who's playing AAA in Dallas. Um, our goaltending instruction is from Mitch Baker, who works, uh, who's uh, the directional leadership for uh, PGD Goaltending, Goaltending Development Company in Minnesota. So that's what he does full time. And he's got Conrad Kirsten, who's the goalie for UCO, coaching him. Um, and I imagine I'm, I'm, we've got some great counselors and things that, that play hockey even a little bit at the junior levels and, and a bit at college levels. So there's a, there's a great staff of people. We've done a lot of power skating, end zone breakouts, work on our stick handling, passing, shooting, everything. It's been great. Well, 
obviously dodgeball going in the back with our sports time. Uh, guys get pool time a little bit and you're on ice uh, working through that. Uh, we also have our chapels at night. Uh, great time, good fun, uh, as well as uh, really ministering to the kids and, and bringing the story and the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. And that's that's the, the key for this whole week is tying hockey, uh, the sports and the games and, and, and bringing it around the sole message of, of Jesus. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no man can open. I know your deeds. See, I have placed you before an open door that no one can shut. And I know that you have little strength Yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Call it a, uh, a hyped up sports camp with three hours of ice hockey, and then we, we get to get some Jesus in our lives too. So they get two huddle groups uh, throughout the day, which are athlete hockey specific um, Bible studies where we take biblical truth and principle and, and apply it to the game of hockey and to life. What does it look like to be a Christian in life? But what does it look like to be a Christian hockey player? How do we how do we follow Jesus on the ice? How do we play like an athlete? And we believe that that's. That's the only way you can really fulfill who you are as a hockey player, uh, as, as God's plan for you on the ice. And so um, they get those huddle groups, they get an awesome chapel, fun time at night, um, and they get a full sports camp, pool and dry land and sports and um, lots of fun times with their friends and their counselors.